Titans, this is Miss Romanski, and I am going to show you how to use your Skyward Gradebook. So first thing we want to do here on the home screen is make sure we are under Teacher Access. If you don't see Teacher Access up here in the upper right hand corner, you just click the drop down arrow and make sure you've selected Educator Access. We're then going to click on Teacher Access and scroll to My Gradebook and you'll see a list of grade books for all of the classes you teach. Now, most of us teach multiple sections of the same class, and there is a way to assign the same assignment to all of your classes so that you don't have to input them individually. For now, we're going to start in one single grade book, and I'll show you how to duplicate assignments. So the Skyward Gradebook is laid out in grid form and broken down by six weeks. We have six six weeks. We also have a progress report grading period within each six weeks. And then we have two semesters with three six weeks in each semester. Most important thing we wanna start with is make sure we're working in the current six weeks. So this dropdown actually doesn't uh, update automatically as a six weeks change. So you're gonna wanna make sure you've got the correct six weeks or the correct semester selected when you're looking at your averages. So we are currently in six weeks one. I'm gonna go up to assignments and we're gonna add our first assignment. First thing you wanna do is select the type of assignment, a formative assessment or a summative assessment. Um, and it tells you right here that a formative assessment is worth 30% of a final grade, whereas a summative is 70. That's typically for those bigger projects or tests, whereas a formative is probably more like daily classwork, participation, um, etc. We want to give our assignment a name. For the sake of this training, I'm just going to do a participation grade and a quick description. And then we want to input the date. This can be a single date um, or it can be a date range. Since I'm doing participation, I'm going to go ahead and do that first full week of school. And I want to make sure my maximum score is 100, but you can change that if you'd like. And then down here under class options is where I'm going to apply this assignment to all of my grade books just by selecting the checkbox. Now maybe I do an assignment with my fourth grade classes that I'm not doing with fifth through eighth grade. In that case, I would just select the boxes for my fourth grade sections. So once they're all selected, I have a couple options over here. The first one, save and back, is gonna save this assignment and go back to that um, grade book grid screen. Um, I can do save and add another. If I wanted to come in and do a, put in a bunch of grades at once, I could come in and add a couple assignments and just save them, add another one, save it, add another one. And then I could do save and back. Or if I wanted to do just put in this one assignment and then score it, I could hit save and score, which is what I'm gonna show you first. So here is where I'm grading one single assignment. I can do this individually by just going down the row and typing in the grade that each student earned. Or since I'm doing a participation grade for the first week of school, maybe I just wanna give everyone every 100. And I can do that by coming over here to mass assign, putting in the grade that I wanna give the entire class and then hitting apply. So now everyone has a 100, except for those two that I put in manually. And I can save that and it'll take me back to my gradebook grid. And we can see it over here under six weeks one. Now I do have an assignment in here that I haven't graded yet because I also wanna show you how to do quick scoring. So you would use quick scoring if you want to input multiple grades at once. It's honestly, personally, my favorite option. I know as a teacher, we wanna save as much time as possible on a single task. 
So what I like to do is do add multiple assignments at once, just keep hitting save and add another, save and add another. Then I come back out here to my grade book and go up here to quick scoring. And what this does is provide a grid of each student and a grading box for every assignment that you've created for the six weeks. Um, so if you keep a paper grade book or you're maybe putting in grades from Edgephoria or Google Classroom or Canvas, you can come over here and just kind of do it for each student across the row. So for my first student, she's already got her other two, but I, if I wanted to do all of her grades for maybe the first progress report all at once, I could do that. And then I would just go down the row and hit save and back. And as you can see, the gradebook's gonna automatically average everything for us. And again, you wanna make sure you're looking at the correct six weeks. Um, the other thing I wanna show you is that um, if you wanted to edit an assignment, so under assignments, you can go instead of add to list, and this is going to show you all of the assignments you've put in. You could select one and go back and edit the scores individually. Um, you could edit the actual assignment itself. Maybe you messed up the date range or you want to lower the maximum score. Just make sure if you want your edits applied to all of your classes that these boxes are still checked down here. And just for the sake of it, let's show you. So I've been working in my fourth grade class, but I put in a participation grade for all of my classes. So let's just check that. Let's check an eighth grade grade book. So you can see that all of the assignments I've put in under fourth grade, because I selected those boxes, are also over here in my eighth grade grade book. And I can now go up here to quick scoring and grade for this class. Uh, I think that covers the basics. If there is anything that you have questions on, feel free to reach out um, to your campus admin or to Josh Watkins. Um, any one of those people or myself, I suppose, could answer your questions. Um, we're happy to help. Thanks for your time.